Hey folks, and welcome to the Wooden Pebble. We're going to get into part two, long mill MK2, 30 by 30 unbox and setup. We're going to fast forward a lot through this process. This is not meant to be an in-depth review on the setup. It is just to show a layman's process of going through and trying to set up the long mill 30 by 30 by 30. Um, in the beginning of this process, I did try to watch the video that is from CNC Labs. The video is great quality. Uh, Chris, the gentleman on the video, does an excellent job. Unfortunately, I, I was wanting to move a little faster than the video was accepting through. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go through the instructions on my own. Um, and I want to go ahead and uh, admit to something here. Uh, it's a little disheartening. I've recorded over eight hours worth of video for this process, yet the middle part of the install and setup was unfortunately corrupted. So there's about a two-hour time block of the setup that is just going to be missing from this and once again I apologize um, if I get another one I'll, I'll set it up more detailed so this box I'm taking out here had all of the add-ons and then the controller box and e-stop um, my add-ons I got was the dust shoe the uh, inductive sensor and the auto touch plate So this next part, I'm playing at normal speed. When doing this, I opened up this box. I'm very careful. You can see the position of the thumb and everything. So I was trying my best not to cut into anything inside the box because I really didn't know what was going to be in there. But in this box is the the gantry sides, um, and they were pretty scratched up in a few different locations. I, I don't really know if this was you know, part of a long mill that had been sold and then returned and I unfortunately got the scratched up one. I don't know if maybe it happened during the uh, manufacture or packing process I'm just not sure I, I was a bit disappointed though that everything I heard everything I saw of this company and, and this product was quality 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 it's a it was owned ran by a small group and they were very attentive to details so to see this made me worry now I will say it's only surface scratches, it was enough to take off the paint, the, ena the enamel. Um, there were no true gouges in it. So will I complain? No, not at all. But it is worth mentioning. Alright, for the rest of the video I'm just going to throw up some music, let it play. If you have questions, just throw them down in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.